Today we're talking about how to keep your car smelling great. Now the secret to a pleasant odor in your car is actually eliminating the bad ones. And one of those bad ones, believe it or not, is the new car scent. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. So watch my step-by-step -step process for how to keep your car smelling great today on this episode of Drive and Protect. Uh, all the way in so that they sit on top. Oh. Touch and paint on. I can hear it. Truth be told, the new car scent we've all come to love is actually a chemical smell from the material and adhesives in the car. This smell can be caused by the release of VOCs outgassing. Ironically, this is what fogs or yellows our windshield, especially on new cars. In fact, some consumer advocates recommend keeping new cars well ventilated while driving for up to six months, especially in high heat areas of the country. With manufacturers cracking down on material that could potentially hurt their customers, an interesting dilemma occurs. Drivers, meaning you and me, subconsciously desire the new car smell. Heck, we have air fresheners called new car scent. So while manufacturers are using different materials and drafting new guidelines for vehicle cabin VOC testing, it's hard to deny the relationship between the smell and our purchasing decisions. So manufacturers are coming up with new ways to create the smell without introducing the potential dangerous side effects. The bottom line is this, that new car smell is just a link we have to the joy of having a new car, much the same as people buying food, clothing, and homes. The smell stimulates emotions, but sometimes that smell may not be a good thing. So ultimately, the best way to have the new car feeling is to simply disinfect your used car and kill the bad odor. Here are six steps to help you keep your car smelling great. Step one is pretty obvious, removing any clothes, sports equipment, and throwing away leftover bottles and wrappers as the remnants of food and drink can fill the cabin with a pungent odor, especially if the car is left to bake in the sun. If you have a child seat in the car, I pretty much guarantee leftover food or spit up and the like will be trapped in the seat cover. Cleaning the shell, cover, harness, and seat buckle will require you to first read your owner's manual as each will have specific recommendations to clean them safely. In my particular case, sponge cleaning the shell using warm water and mild soap is recommended. For step two, remove all rubber mats and floor mats to expose the vehicle's carpets. These areas tend to accumulate funky smells because they can't easily be removed. Instead, evenly spread household baking soda on the carpets. You can either sprinkle it directly from the box or use a sifter or powder sugar shaker to avoid uneven clumps in the fibers. Either way, allowing the baking soda to sit overnight is ideal as it will react with the acid stains in your carpet that typically contain the rancid smell. Make sure to do the same technique on your removable mats as well while you have the baking soda out and ready for use. Afterwards, repeat the same steps for the cloth seats if you have them by laying the seat back down and evenly spreading the baking soda once again. Seats tend to have sweat or acidic perspiration that will linger in the fabric and then wick up when you sit back down, causing you to smell it again. The following day, vacuum the baking soda from the carpets, mats, and seats, but in the meantime, let's move on to the following steps. Next, remove your cabin filter. This filter cleans the outside air prior to it entering the vehicle through the HVAC ducts. A quick search in your owner's manual will reveal where it is and how to remove it. Most tend to be located in or near the glove box. Once removed, do not put the new one in just yet. With the filter out, spray dash and vent cleaner in all the vents, including the outside intake vent. Then turn on the air conditioning full blast with the recirculate button on for a few minutes. Then turn off the AC but leave the fan on full blast with the windows down to draw in the fresh air. Afterwards, replace the old filter with the new one and close up the glove box. Step four is to kill any remaining bacteria with active oxygen agents in Ammo Shag Fabric Cleaner to lift and remove the lingering odor. To do this, spray shag directly on the carpet and agitate with our scrub pad. Then, blot the area dry with a microfiber towel. Repeat these exact steps for cloth seats as well. Afterwards, vacuum the carpet and seats one last time to remove any lifted dirt and to help dry the material quickly. Now, headliners tend to trap a lot of smells, especially cigarette smoke, particularly on the B-pillar. However, headliners are more sensitive than, say, carpets and seats, so avoid soaking and heavily scrubbing the area. To do this safely, spray shag into the head of your interior brush and then lightly agitate the headliner and then quickly blot dry. While you're in that area, step five is to clean the seat belt to help eliminate any lingering odors. To do it properly, first pull out the entire seat belt, then twist it once or twice to prevent it from winding back into the reel. Once you locate the dirty section, 
liberally spray ammo shag and gently scrub the material until you notice the stain lifting. Once again, blot dry with a microfiber towel. If you have an obvious stain or grease buildup on the driver's side door, as I noticed in this car, then quickly spray ammo lather on the plastic and vinyl with the interior brush and wipe it away with a dry microfiber towel. At this point in the process, you're simply trying to eliminate any source of potential smell, so don't leave anything to chance. Lastly, I add Ammo Mousse interior conditioner to the plastics and leather to moisturize the material after our cleaning, but it also adds a subtle, fresh smell that doesn't have any VOCs or harmful vapors. This same mousse process can be repeated on leather seats if your car has them. Apply mousse to a foam applicator pad and massage it into the material. Once you're done, buff dry with a microfiber towel. For strong odors, especially on cars that aren't driven very often, leaving a moisture absorber in the car can be helpful to eliminate the musty and damp smelling interiors. Although the new car smell is awesome, it's not the smell that's awesome, it's the fact that you own a new car and that correlation between the smell and the new car has kind of whacked our brains out over the years. Now the bottom line is this, the best smelling car is one that doesn't smell at all. If you guys found this video helpful, please subscribe below or visit my website ammonyc.com right over here. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Wake up, sheeple! <laughs>